not to honk my horn and you have to come running out and be like, I gotta leave mommy, sir. My children. Hey guys. Today is Wednesday stream. So, or sorry, Thursday stream. It's Thursday. Haha. <laughs> yes, my off days are Monday, Wednesday, so we're coming back. So, awesomeness. Glad that you're here. For those that uh, are tuning in, I know the stream just started, so we'll probably get some more people a little later. Today's stream is going to be focused on building the space station. So, I'm very excited. Um, we have one small part of that. I'll see if I can't get an image to post on my stream in a little bit to uh, showcase the plans of what was drawn up, and we can talk about that a little bit. But I'm uh, finishing up some mining on the lava planet that uh, I decided to explore earlier today. It's been most of my time. Um, exploring the planet and now I'm just getting a couple of the uh, rare ores out of here and then we'll go to the space station. <clears throat> what's up? So what's up Peaches? I can't access my ship but I'm in the base. Oh it's parked too far away? I don't know, I got on the wireless stuff, maybe not. Is your ship on? Yeah. Uh-oh, the world's starting to turn green. Might be the radiation. I'm trying to find this last little 10% in here. It's okay, I just have to walk outside the door. I can turning things. to be a very interesting thing. Yep, here goes the radiation. Alright, ingredients input. Steel plates. Do you have these colored? Blue is steel. No, maybe. What, the boxes up there? Yeah, I see it. Input, one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, the gray one's on the left, but then don't be fooled by gray on the right, because the default color of the crate is gray. So, the ones on the right are the two be determined boxes. And you can always use F4 for the logistics menu. Every box on the second floor starts with two F. To kind of make it a little easier to find what's what. That helps greatly. I'm gonna throw some of these steel plates in the output box because I can't fit it in the inbox. You making more fusion? Yep. Good. Trying to find the blue. I like it with that hit control. <laughs> they make a hundred percent of time. I love that now. Queues up so much faster. Oh yeah. Right. Man, I hate trying to find the last ten percent of an ore vein. Like even with the detector, it's not showing me where where stuff is right now. I'm probably too far away. Oh my gosh! If you ever want to see something wild, walk around the base with show airtight blocks on. Yep. Or show what? Show airtight blocks. Oh yeah, it's all green. Not only that, but like the doors and stuff, you can't see them anymore. Nope. The anti. Alright, let's see. Can we get a reading from the surface? Maybe, maybe not. Looks like not. Oh boy. Man, talk about getting ejected out of your hover vessel. I thought I was gonna like fly into my hole. I'm like, no! Alright, so where? Show me. Oh, there it is. Man, that's tiny. If that's my last 10%, no wonder I couldn't freaking... Alright, we're just gonna get the drone out and get it. I have my capital vessel parked nearby because... There's scorpions roaming this planet as, like, the uh, insects. Alright, so we just got 10 Zarkosiums. Or Zaskosiums, not sure. Oh, was that the last little bit? I love this. I make this huge freaking pit, and that one little bit was all I was missing. I knew it would be something dumb like that. And now I'm too high. 
Bring in Lava Planet. I have two insulation boosts on my suit right now, too. Go figure that one out. But as long as I get in a vehicle nearby, it's all good. Alright, so we managed to get what we needed from there. Let's just cruise back over here to the ship. Alright, and we'll be ready to go out through this door. Mom, when nine minutes will take off. Eight minutes till the ship is done. We might be good. Wait, you just now make it a small vessel? Yeah, because I finally hit level 20. Like, two hours ago. Yeah. Well then, excellent. Yeah, that's how we got on the harvester conversation. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> dug out all the ground around their home. What about it? At least I didn't <clears throat> murder them with them standing in front of me. At least it's collapsed their house and then they're me. <laughs> At least I'll find it the same time and not some poor little kid being like, Mommy, I'm a baby town. Where's daddy? He's being dragged along the ground, honey. Dragged along the ground. Alright, so our purpose here was to get this ore so we can make more auto miners. So now. Yeah, we have so many warp crystals. Holy shnikey. Say what? We have so many warp crystals. I do? Where? There's like a thousand of them in like the fuel box. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I keep my stuff stocked. I don't need to run into any props. Look at that one. Dang. I'm not the only hoarder around here. I go in the mentality of this is a capital vessel, it's supposed to be a roaming base, and I should be able to make whatever I need on demand anywhere I'm at, because who knows where I could be. All I thought about the base base had that many in there. Well, the base has a bunch in there, too. That's what I'm saying. Do you have, you have like, that many on your vessel as well? What? The I'm capital vessel? The at the time. Yeah. Um, hold on, I got some in here. I'll show you. Yeah, I got I got almost a thousand. Very nice. Def definitely got enough power. Well, it suck to like get stuck somewhere. Right. We're just spreading it out so I get these a little quicker. Cause I hate waiting on stuff to get made in constructors. Oh, we can't make any more. Oh, well, is that blue color or custom blue you used in like the break room? Um, how am I out of these already? Are you talking about the kitchen backsplash? Yeah. I believe it is the lightest blue over in the uh, normal palette. That's too bright. Not the cyan one, but like the pastel. I honestly cannot tell the difference between the two. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my gun out. I can't remember what pastel looks like. 
Our cells are <laughs> like really faint chocolate. Easter bunny colors, dude. Okay, so if you open ah. up, if you open up. <laughs> okay, so on the color chart, uh, right to the left of the bright lime green. Oh, that one? Okay. I think it's that one. Maybe it's just because I'm using a different material. Where am I short on? It could be. It. Where are you at? My cap on this one. Alright, let's just make a bunch of these. And then what's the other stuff I need? Do you have a ramp other than the really Power big one on the side? Oh, yeah, I, got I have auto miner cores. Ah, uh, do you want to use it? Lights? Yes. Yeah, that's quite the two alloy. Air is charming, guys. I got a bunch of those. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're like 50. Hello. Okay, where is the blue? Right here. Oh, uh, okay. So hold on. It looks different, doesn't it? Yeah, look, I got all this air. It strong. does look different. Ha! It's not my eyes that are deceiving me. What on earth? Oh, the palette is different. What? Yeah, different. And I got a lot of auto miner cores. Like, all the custom colors well. I made on my palette are gone now that I'm in here. If you go back to it on the concrete, We'll bring him back, and then you walk in there with that out. No, it sounds like giving me trouble for his ass cool yeah, alloy. Why do you oh, not oh, see that I have that? No, it's just your ship for some reason has a different color palette. Okay, um, so d do you want me to go ahead and change this? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Pretty funny, Momo. Well, at least we have six. I don't use brown. So That's I'll more than I had before. And anyway. it's gonna help me with the planet. Like my planet. So we'll just run up here. Oh <laughs> and let's just eat out the refrigerator. So what's that called on the like the the prom king or whatever? The he makes the girl real popular. That I'm not certain. What are you going on about? You know, I take like the ugly girl and then like they make her pretty and she goes to prom with the prom king and then like a name for it. Makeover? Yeah, there's like, there's like a movie after it, and then like they all betray it, like, oh, just a trick to make you like us, blah, blah, blah. I remember that's that one close, movie. That's not right. Hold on. Where, let the, go. where the girl was like the ugly duckling, and then she got made over, and everyone was like, wow! Yeah, what, what's that called? I don't remember. Do that? Usually, it, like a makeover. Well, make, everybody can get a makeover. Right? Yeah. Transformation. Oh, well, I gotta look this up. Beautify. I mean, how specific are we getting? We're gonna go put ourselves in space and come back down with a small vessel. Like, what does the girls do in Mean Girls to, um... Lindsay Lohan? Gave her a makeover. I'm so confused. What word are you looking for? Did it actually makeover? So we got our uh Okay, stuff so here. let me write down these values. What you write down? I've been having fun lately. The color my... that Peaches wants. Oh okay. Oh the RGB. Yeah, Alright, are you in that room? Uh a minute. Alright, quick minute, I'm in here. Okay, the same blue you used on the wall, quickly color the two, or the four brown panels, so it's all the same color. Color all the brown panels? Yeah, just make it so the entire wall is blue instead of blue and brown. I'll make it all blue instead of blue and brown. Okay, oop, on red. And, and then, done. And now open up your color panel. Okay. Click on the blue you used to paint the wall. Okay. Click configure. Done. Now you're going to enter in these values, uh, type them in. Starting at the top one, oh, my point fifty-five. Oh, those. Okay. Point twenty-seven. Point eight four. Okay. 
RGB values are going to be 157. 197 and 215? Yep. I think those are two separate things, so that they match. Oh, oh, my body temperature not being reduced from its base. Because you configured the color that you had painted them. So everything else you'll ever paint that shade of blue is now changed. So if I were to go to this white color and make it some weird color, like pointing at it, all the white would be changed? Yes and no. If you painted your ship white on purpose and you changed the spot on your color palette where that white is to a different color value, then all of the things you painted with that color value will also change. Well, so it's not just the ones you're pointing at, it's like all together. Everything all that right. you use. I'm gonna to die. Palette, yeah. Get off. Well, that's freaking scary. It's like, it's like assigning color zones, basically. Even the ones that are already painted. <sighs> well, everything defaults to the upper okay. left hand um, palette thing, so if they're unpainted, it won't do anything. Right, but what if I were, like having a high white So, like, let's say right? this. Let's say this door you painted it white using your color palette. And then you painted this right here white using your color palette. Then you open your color palette, change the white square to, uh, I don't know, pink. Then the door and the floor will be pink. Oh, I got this. I think we're missing something. That, is, that doesn't make, I mean, it makes sense because they're touching. But if they're not touching, it doesn't make sense. Well, color. I think it's only valid in the ship, because when I went back to the main base, my color palette changed. Okay, let me try two colors that I don't ever plan on using. Oh, I know what it might be. Oh, that doesn't really make too much sense either. Oh, two different colors. The only thing I changed back to this was on my color. ship, I added... A fuel tank right there. But I don't think they put out heat. Radioactivity. Alright, let's oh, just take weird. out the uh, fuel here. We'll that see. Makes me sad. Holy snaggy. Did it work the way I said it would? Yeah, that is so stupid. Okay, where did you paint something? At the base or on a ship? No, I painted it like, on the base, like on just the runway. I just took an area quick and just made some lines. I gotcha. So, the, which one did you change on your color palette? <sighs> one of the pink ones. Okay, because what I want to know is if you come in here, will that also change. Must have been my suit. I guess I could find out. I might have to put that fill tank back on there. Forgive me, I'm about to change a fuse in here. What do you mean? If I can fix it. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> like, oh, I like guess it linked per base. Medium. Yeah. Medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Large. Oh, still there. That's what you're saying, but if I walk outside of the base, range magnesium will go back Magnesium large. I think I want uh, two magnesiums. Yeah. Let me go jump on a. Let me go stand on something that's glowing. Oh, the turret. Where will we cool. figure out where I want to go? Okay, so I fixed that. Well, not fixed, but answered that. So if I use in your ship the color palette hot pink, and then I run outside and I use the color palette hot pink, and then I configure the color palette hot pink to something else outside, your ship stays. Hot pink. Does not change. Oh, uh, okay. So, I know you're probably not wild about that, but I fixed it already. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. No, it's for science. Alright. That's a large. Okay, that's not something. That's okay. Prometheum. Okay. So, yeah, it's by zone. So, like, the color palette would belong large. to the ship. Or the color palette large. would belong to the base. And large Prometheus. Oh, okay, right. that's cool. So I was thinking to myself, you know, what if I made a cool white ship? Okay. And I was like, I changed that white color temporarily, like on the base, to like pink. And also, before I know, I'm flying around in a pink ship all of a sudden. 
Okay, now I feel better. That makes more sense. That's cool then. So then when you go back in that area, your color palette goes back. Okay, I, okay, I like that. I kind of like it. Yep, it's by zone. Well, I went to thinking that it was super stupid to you liking it all of a sudden. Because I can actually stand in your hangar and paint the wall one color and one of your ships a different color inside one, the two, hangar. Three, four, five, and only six. the base changes if I configure the panel. So I think when you put down a base block or a capital vessel block or a small vessel block or a hover vessel block, the color palette binds to whatever that block is. Yeah, now that pink color I changed out in the runway. It's well, mm -hmm. I ran in here with the paint tool open. It didn't change back to default. Your color palette? Yeah, I ran in here. Interesting. I don't know, you'll have to do some tests because the things that I messed around with seem to work in the way that I expected them to. Hmm. Oh, that's Two, three, four, it's five, good to know though because six, seven, we're changing color down bad. could screw up a lot of things. <clears throat> yeah, I had the wrong black. Oops, I have the darker black to me right now, so I need to fix my palette too. Most interesting. Okay. Well, this is a lot of key key rounds at night. I thought about trading you off to the Polaris, but I don't think I changed my mind. You mean the faction that you keep linked? What? <laughs> I said, you mean that faction that you keep killing? That I keep killing? Yes, but I mean, I need to make pieces of them, but like, so how do you guys feel about a Momo? Nice. I'm just gonna <laughs> sell me off and then annihilate the village and then I'll die. Oh no, not that they need to become the new leader because everyone else is dead but you because you're NPC. <laughs> yeah, that's how I elevate you. It's all part of the master plan. Uh huh. Oh, uh, the one downside to the shared color palette is that when you changed your blue, it changed your medical bay. Whaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Uh, I think I'm marked two from getting a deposit to actually tag, but I'm really here for the Thascosium and the Eurystrum. You can't really go wrong with having more Prometheum. Crap. It didn't work how I thought it did. No. It doesn't. Crap, bubble your ship's done. Yeah, go out on the airstrip and spawn that stuff in. Okay. And then don't forget your goodies you made to put in your ship. So I just spawn it and that's it? Yeah, you gotta spawn it on a base block, so go out on the airfield. I'm on the airfield. I can't take my ship. Spawn it in. It's a, it's a storm. It's a ship born of the storm. I need to get food first before I die. Alright, my faction. I got some burgers and I'm reminding you of the wireless. Wireless is very nice. Okay, so I just click spot. Oh snap. Oh yeah. Stop shooting my ship. I can't, it's up to private. Yeah, make sure you uh, change that to imagine gaming or gamers. Uh, it's on the main page. There's a drop down on the top left. This thing looks sweet. Okay, it's theoretically it's changed. Yep. Yeah, it's a prefab. Um, let me go grab I want to check it out. I'll get to see it soon. Oh, it's not written. Okay. How do I power this sucker up? With sight. You're gonna need uh, fuel. I have that too. <laughs> My landing gear is supposed to retract. Why is it all sitting out like that? Ooh, so many doors open up in a row. Oh, I can sit in here? There we yeah, go. Yeah, she said she liked Power's that. On. All right. Swarm, designed and built by Piston Works. So if you want to find that on the workshop, there you go. I found it here. But check this out. It's so cute and little. I have my own, like, keyboard right here at the computer station. Whoa! There's these nice little coffee tables where you can, like, chill. Here's a oh. kitchen up here. I want yeah. to get these tiny little blocks of my HVs or my CVs. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's got like a sink and an the oven. Kind of high here. Yeah, that's how you uh, bake space muffins. It's called oh. a lava cake. <laughs> Stop painting my stuff pink. <laughs> I've painted many things pink and purple. All right. I'm here for the shenanigans. What's this lever do? Oh. so cute in here. I'm so excited. I'm really happy. Alright, how many more of these do I need to do? Oh, I got his and hers armor things. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. It is pretty cool in here. Yeah, I like how I, like how I use all these inside uh, uh, ramp things. You see this? Yeah. All the uh, ammo storage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the constructor. And that thing is tiny. Now I just need to try to figure out where I'm gonna store everything. All right. So where do we? Where's the dance floor? There's something that's back here. <laughs> Just most of the sensor time to. Engineering sensor. What does that turn? Does that turn on this thing? It does! Oh, so it won't turn on these things that you're in the room. Neat. Oh 
shit. Ooh, scorpions! All right, well, I got the auto miner down. That's the uh, important part. Where did he go? There he is. All right, and then as soon as I figure out where those armor things are, oh. Thank you for painting them bright pink. They're him and hers. One's blue. One pair is blue, I mean. Alright, I'm done with my shenanigans. I didn't paint anything else in the last two minutes, I swear. <laughs> Everything else I painted was before he stopped me to, told me to stop. Uh-huh. That may have been trigger happy. But it was a trigger of happiness. Alright, park that thing up on this thing and throw it to the space station. The only downside to all these ramps and moving parts is all lag. So park this on yours? Yeah, park it right up on the top. Will it, will it fit in the big door? I think the wings are a little wide. No worries. I'll park it on the running strip. <clears throat> And yeah, make sure you hold C until you hear the little chime that lets you know you got docked properly. The one that sounds like it's off? The one that goes like, ding ding! I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I better make sure. Better make sure I grab everything. Are you sure that doesn't fit in the side? I think that would fit in there. Would you fly better if it was down there? No, I'm just more for curiosity's sake, to be honest. Okay. We can struggle afterwards. Well, I can tell you real quick, I can just get some blocks out and measure it. <laughs> now I looked for a scorpion this time before I even got out. And there's, there's one already. It is. Where are you at, buddy? About eight wide. Ooh, a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Probably didn't help. Didn't hurt my ship. I thought they were nine wide. I don't understand these dudes take like six shots. You said it's only eight wide. Did you? This thing's like ten and a half wide. It would totally fit in there. Did you paint this? Uh, I can't see your screen. It's like got green and purple on it, and I don't remember that being there. Green and purple? No, I don't know. Where's my side little thing here? The, like the on the thrusters <clears throat> and stuff. That might have just oh. been there and I didn't notice. I don't know. No, I did paint the thrusters purple. You did? <laughs> <laughs> but just the thruster. I didn't paint any green out here. Oh, okay. So that came out there? Am I going to have to fly away without you? Stop painting my ship. <laughs> I wasn't. I was just looking at it to see if I may have painted <laughs> something else by accident. Mm hmm. Hey, you know what? Someone painted my things per pink, and I'm blaming Bloop, but you're here, so, you know, you're now sucked into it. So you, you paint my ship to get back at Bloops. You know, it just kind of keeps <laughs> on circling around. I still need to be painting excellent stuff. Everyone's already been writing on mine and painting mine. It's all good. There's even a Quay farm on my ship, if you didn't know that. How are you supposed <laughs> to farm Quay? <laughs> what the fuck is that, Quay? Quay. How do I farm Quay? Where did you find that? Oh, I found it immediately after you did it. I just didn't say anything. You know, Quay's up. And you robbed me of my amusement. I didn't rob you. I just delayed it. You're laughing right now. 
chucklehead. It's all good. I decided to face my own ship today and I wrote, Hi Mom, on the bottom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a space station. Like, um, the NPC space station out here around our main planet. Did that get spawned in or did it just not get spawned in with my planet? I don't know. Oh, do you mean the traitor one? Yeah. Um, that was it? supposed to be there the whole game. I don't... Yeah. Um, all I know is that there's a lot more traitors than I noticed before, but I don't know, like, the official one, no. Alright, where are you at? Alright, Scorpions. Go. Hey. Look, no scorpions. <laughs> Set down. Go to get out, and we're gonna hear... And they're gonna come out. Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright, premium deposit. I wonder if I go fast enough if I can shear your ship off by oh. This looks like a stack of books from the distance. Kind of does. I gotta go back and look at that picture like, since I made us figure out how we're gonna build this game because I totally forgot. Oh, well, from what he was telling me, the picture is no longer, um... Valid? Yeah. More auto miners do I have? No, I'm out of auto miners. All right, so miss out on the magnesium and whatever's over there. New it's marker. boxy. How's that? That's cozy. It's a boxy. All right. It needs not too bad though. But it's like the main center part. All right, let's just purge that and purge that. I'm just not really sure what to do. So we got six promethium, two, three aerostroms. I guess I might as well keep the name the same. Grinders for enemies happen to fall into us. Aries Drew. <laughs> Aries Drew! <laughs> Harvesters on this tonight. <laughs> for all the occasional space tree land here. <laughs> Alright. We'll let all those run. And check on them tomorrow. And for now, there are space trees. Actually, there are there's space trees. actually something to protect. Over here to the east. No, they're, they're floating around. I don't know if it's a bug or what. Actually went all around the lava planet right, we have uh, earlier today, so most of the stuff has already been revealed. Keep in mind that but I must miss some things because the I don't have a perfect. Uh, if we look at my map here at the planet. You'll see I don't have everything uncovered. I'm hmm. missing some, uh, some gold, some magnesium, a few Irish drums. So I guess and this is where I should grab my ship. Whoa. I almost got all the that was dumb, that's cozy though. You just turned off gravity or something, didn't you? No, you did push the J button? Uh, no, I walked outside and I was doing really good until, like, the Earth rotated. <laughs> it started flying away. You guys are going to the space station? We are coming yeah. to the space station. Oh, well, I'm actually, um, coming out of, off the lava planet now. I got six auto miners set up here, though. Oh, yeah. I have to figure out how to organize all the cargo on my ship. One box at a time. Well, I mean... I'm so dizzy. Alright, we have our ship up there somewhere. Yep. Oh, perfect. There's a lever that makes the ramp stop trying to lower itself. Much better. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to get used to all the dude stuff that he programmed in there. Ugh. Why'd you repay all my armor?
So in space, it's really, really cold. Yep, yeah, need the EVA boost. It's a good thing I put that in there. Oh, I need to get started getting in the habit of orienting my capital vessel to the horizon before I, uh... <laughs> oh, look Stop it. What up, Evil? Hey, Evil, welcome back! How you doing? I strongly regret. You regret nothing. No, I strongly regret. I clicked applied to current. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, is your whole ship a different chain now? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know how to get back the way I spawned it in. <laughs> nothing looks good. Wait, what I'm did really you do? Sad. I'm actually doing quite well. I, uh, oh, I just feel really, really, really. I've been really pretty busy cool. today. And I passed my macroeconomics final yesterday. So I'm actually doing real good. It doesn't look that weird. Um, it's weird. It's noticeably weird. Inside. Yeah. So now I can be super nerdy and I can talk about aggregate mm -hmm. demand and supply. And the Federal Reserve, and blah, blah, blah. People, Everything stuff that different. typically doesn't come up in regular conversation. The regret is so strong. <laughs> the color palette was perfect when I got in. At least not in my circle of friends. <laughs> just All a right. default one. So we need to get to Ida. I don't know how to fix it because I didn't do the save thing that XM told me how to do. Let me just go to the configure. You told me how to do it already. No, I know, but... Remember how it gives you like a color palette? The ship came pre painted with whoever built its color palette. Yeah, it did? Have it in there. Where is it? How do I get it back? I don't know. My current color just says swarm on it. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, but look at all the weird colors. You know, like it has its own. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, palette three, four, and five of mine are all defaults. No, default is what made it look ugly. Uh, yeah. Like, they had a custom job in here, and it was gorgeous and beautiful. Well, you may have to go to Kratom, spawn in a new one. Look at the color numbers and come back in. Or she could just multi-tool her ship all apart and spawn it all back in, dump everything back in the factory, start fresh. That, that would thing? be like another three or four hours, though, wouldn't no, it? No, because you're putting all the finished components in. Remember we talked about how it reduces the time? So if you put all the components of shit back in, you would have no time. Or you could just switch over and get all the color palette stuff set back up. I don't know what would be easier. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I've been ruining everything. All right, we got to figure out... Uh... Gah. Oh, I'm drifting the wrong direction. That is why. Oh, I realized I parked on the bottom of the structure, so the ship actually upside down. <laughs> Just an FYI for your spatial. Okay, so you said multi-tool it, shove it all back in the factory. Yeah, make sure you take your core up last. I don't know where yeah. the core is, so this is gonna be really interesting. Um. Remember uh, that. Can I drop you off on the planet if you're gonna go do that instead of being here? <laughs> oh my I'm goodness. Not Why am I having trouble? <laughs> you oh, don't there trust we go. Me? It's no. this way. I'm not even gonna lie about that. Maybe go like fly it off to like space over here in the middle of nowhere. You can, that way you can zoom all the way around it. 
It's all right. I think it might be easier to just paint the ship my own colors. If you need to, I'll be more than happy to put some more paint on. Do some symmetry mode, and you'll cut down your painting time in half. Ooh. Almost in rendering view. Come on, space station! I don't know where the dead center of the is. <clears throat> the ship's not symmetric. Does that matter? Oh, it's not? Though. At all? Well, totally there's is. some symmetry, but like, there's a kitchen on the left and a chair on the right, and a ramp on the left and nothing on the right. And... Well, there's a mask that's not part of that, that part of it. Oh, okay. I'll fix this another day. It can fly around looking really, really scary. Don't forget to turn your power off. What? Don't forget to turn your power off. Yeah, once I leave it, I will. And put this paint thing away. The start of my penny X on the ship. Actually, us parking right here is not good because we're going to put two more layers in. <laughs> we're putting two more in here? Yeah, we're going to do another top and another bottom one. Evil! <laughs> you and your jokes, man! No, it's not a bar, it's not a bar cube. <laughs> let me, let me, I'll show you. Let me, um... Hello? I'll, um... Yeah, I'll just show you. So, hold on a second. Let me, let me get my stuff turned off on the ship. Oh, wait, that's not the button I want to use. I see you run around in there. Where do you see? All right, let me see if I can get the, the plans loaded and put it right over oh, my screen, right <laughs> so you can you can see what's up. I think I saved it now. on my desktop. <laughs> Evil, one of my uh, guys on Twitch right now is making fun. He's like, "Are you guys making a board cube?" <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot more work to do. Yeah, we do. That's my thing. Uh, scary amount. All right, so where's the best place to park right now? Station plans. Anywhere? Besides on top and bottom? Probably like just outside the structure. This is either a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Your first HV was a board cube. <laughs> AFK for a minute. Mine at least wasn't super boxy, mm -hmm. but it was still pretty boxy. All right, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So let me just uh, save this as a nice, friendly uh, file here for OBS to put in here instead of a Photoshop uh, file. And I'll show you my station plan. Probably good to talk to you about uh, what the what we're doing. All right, and uh, let's see. Let's just throw in image here. We'll just call it station plans. Oh, All right. nice oxygen spot. There we the go. Doors. Good, thank you. So let's uh, let's just move this. So I'll just talk about this. Um, I guess we'll put it up here in the corner for right now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so what we want to do, or what I envision us doing, is we were talking about like this 3D plus symbol, right? Like this, and uh, you know, you'd have it on both sides. And uh, actually, I probably do 3D plus. Um, do I have more? Those. Uh, what did I do with 
this is disorienting. So when you're in a small vessel that does not have gravity, is there a way to... Uh, um... Anyway, I can't find minor dice. I would probably just, when you're driving it, push O to orientate it. And then when you get out, you can always push O to reorientate yourself. Well, O doesn't orient myself to the ship, unfortunately. Well, it should be if your ship oriented to the planet. It's not. It's docked on the. So we kind of wanted to do cube. something like the first part that I said. Like this. The ship if I get nerdy with some dice here. And uh, oh, but let's do the green the screen. Ship so anyway, dock <laughs> if it's, oriented? it's a big plus. You no, know, none of our ships are docked. But that's not going to work out too well. So. At least as far as resources go. I want to cut down on the amount of concrete we need. I don't want it to not be dark. Let me just mute these guys while I talk about uh, what the plan is. So you'll see in the, here in the diagram, the the middle part, middle part is IG. And that's for the Imagine Gamers. That's the faction we're in. That's the community of gamers that I've built for the last, like, four years. Um, so that right there is going to be a big box. And that is actually what is built now. If we uh, take a look out here in space... Uh, of course, that have to go a lot smoother when you're actually in the uh, captain's chair and you want to look out in space. So that right there is the IG that you see in my blueprint plan right here, right up there. And we're going to put another two layers on there. Each layer in there right now is six vertical walls and the next like floor platform. So right now you're looking at six times four, so 24 tall, plus the layers, so another four on there. So that's like 28. And uh, so, <clears throat> um, what we're gonna do here <laughs> is we're gonna add onto the middle cube here. So it's not just a board cube. So you're going to have this big giant plus, but without the, the 3D aspect of the plus. So I have a capital vessel right now, as you can see. And Peaches has his capital vessel, that way, over there, the Redemption. And we figure that eventually everyone's going to have a capital vessel, uh, resources permitting. And as long as we keep playing right now, Peaches and I are the most hardcore ones on here. So we already have our capital vessels. And... So we're going to put parking bays or hangars, if you will, off the cardinal directions of the center cube, the IG. And because you can't really move hover vessels around in space too well, um, we're just going to kind of keep storage for HVs off to the side of the capital vessel because you can't just go out in space with a hover vessel and move it around. Whereas the small vessels, they can fly, so they have an easier time of getting around. So we may or may not do the SV uh, section here in blue. Because uh, you can just park on the roof, or park on the side of the queue, or, I don't know, invert yourself and park inside a capital vessel hangar if the capital vessel is not utilizing all the space from the floor to the ceiling. So with that said, you know, if we take a look at the dimensions of things here, um, if I go into the year, this is uh, in here as Cerberus, this is on the Steam Workshop, if anyone wants to say capital vessel that I'm using at the moment, and if we take a look, this... Uh, it's kind of cut off on the screen by the image, but the size here is width, height, and depth is 37 by 18 by 59. So I can already fit height-wise in the cube as it is now, but we're going to make it a little taller just in case, and the depth, we're going to go like 100 blocks. This middle IG section is 51 by 51, so that's length times width. So the plan is hopefully that we'll be able to fit everyone who has a capital vessel in a big box off of this and see what happens, right? And that's pretty much the plan. We already have uh, some solar panels on this guy, and we'll get in here in a moment. I'll kind of, we haven't really done too much interior decorating. It's mainly just the station uh, components that are core, uh, like your generators and some solar capacitors. Um, enough to keep us going for power when we're ready. But that's uh, that's the plan right there. So there's my sweet, sweet, also sweet Photoshop skills and like 10 minutes of just, hey, Peaches, this is what I envision us doing. <laughs> so that's the plan. That's what we're going for. And I think I'll just kind of, you know, pop that in and out as needed for everyone to kind of see like how we're progressing along with the station. And if it actually does turn out to look like 
what I had envisioned. Now the symmetry, of course, I'm not too concerned about that um, because the capital vessel sizes are going to change depending on who has what. So, you know, we might have to make custom bays or custom hangers for everybody.